Hey, this is Juno Cat bigging up Dan Sinclair and Rolly Crowley big up yourself. See, Apache said that. See, tell them top dog, we not take back no talk. Anything try for this, we that going to write off. I'm a not top dog, and we not take back no talk. Anything we disrespect, that one they write off. Boom, a job. All right, guys, welcome, welcome. Right, my intro for this one's gonna be very different. I've done enough interviews, so many now, but this is the ultimate one for me. Up here in Red Hills with the veteran, the real and one and only greatest DJ for me. And there's another one, which is the brother, but Junior Cap. Enough respect, enough respect, give thanks. All right, so we're gonna do some quick fire questions. I won't put too much pressure on you, yeah? <laughs> um, keep it short and snappy so we get them through them quick, yeah? Okay, so what age did you get into music? Who and what inspired you? Well, it's not in the age, you know, music was always into I and I, you know, but by pushing it out, it was an earlier age going to school, like um, 15, 16 year old, me okay. start to angle the microphone and thing, mm -hmm. and listen about myself, you know, and know that this is really my job. Okay. You so know. was it in school you got a chance to pick up the mic first? Yeah, it was a um, festival that go on in the school every year, they call it Fear. Okay. Where you get a chance to, you know, do what you want to do musically because they have music here playing. Right. So whosoever into music yeah. can come forward and that was my first chance. Okay. What school was that? <clears throat> it was Coburn Garden Knowledge School. It's mm -hmm. down in Cockburn Pen. Okay. And Agley Park Road right there. Nice. You used to have a shoe factory next door named um, Bata. Okay. You know, now they have a company there named Budget, it's a hardware, so the school is still there. Right, right. Yeah. Have you ever been back to the school to do a visit? Yeah, or? yeah, we even donate things to the school. We keep a festival there called Kingston 11 Splash. Okay. And <clears throat> that was where Supercat arrived the other yeah. day when he um, came here to do this thing. Mm. The, um, the helicopter landed there. Yeah, you know? okay. Yeah, I think yeah. we all saw that on footage actually. It was on YouTube yeah. everywhere. People spread yeah, that, that out. Yeah, that was a school. All right. Okay, so describe your music and how long have you been writing? Because I know we were talking earlier and you said you do things a lot spontaneously. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. maybe now you've been doing a little bit of writing. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, because writing is essential right now to the music, you know, exclusive. You know, yeah. you have to lock it in, you know, mm. cause, you know the, the, the younger people are listening, you know, we are veterans, so we can afford to Trap, you know, yes, yes. Pick it up. What inspires you when you're writing? Well, writing music, you know, is something just, you know, coming like fun by just spending time listening to the beat mm -hmm. and getting the words them together. Yeah. Because we are dancehall DJ where we used to just play the part two and the lyrics come to me like that. Yeah. You know, but now you have to make sure it's exclusive. So there is certain thing you have to fix. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So we mm -hmm. have to really get into the writing yeah and you know what I mean it's essential writing music if that's your job all right so yeah. what pains you most when you think about Jamaica and you know situations and things that are going on what what actually really makes you feel like you know what I I don't like this if I could change it I would do something well you know Jamaica is a nice place you know it's beautiful but um, with, 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 the, with the situation you know, of tourists coming here and people, you know, they expect better mm. because there's a lot of crime going on right now mm. in Jamaica. You know, but you, we are artists who speak of gangsters and speak of gun, but we never make a gun. Mm. So if you still talk about the gun now, Smith and Western still are send down because mm. that's what mashing up Jamaica and yeah. we don't have any control over it. Yes. yes. So we have to just sit back and watch and see the place I go down and know so well then whatever you can do, mm. you have to do for sure the youth them say right now is that everything we're really glistening goal. Yeah. And yeah. becomes a big man in the business now. I cannot go out there and preach something that I know mashing up other people. Yes. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. that's it for Jamaica right now. All mm. I can tell them say, watch you know, the man them can deal with it better because it's not Iraq, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. And if we even say that that don't stop the youth them out there from fire gun cause we don't know what some of them going through. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So it's too weird to have a story, you know what I mean? <clears throat> okay, so going back to kind of like how you came into music and your journey through what was the first single that you buy you went out and buy this single what was it 
if like, you remember. Like if I buy a record? Yeah, yeah. A single or an album, somebody, some artist out there that you thought, yeah, I really like this, I'm going to go out. Well, it. I remember one time I um, have a tune released and I read it, you And I, when that time we used to have like 45, where we used to have the mm. record shop at Aquarius up in Skateland. Mm. Um, a tune named Youth Protection, I was on the same rhythm with Ninja Man, that tune and Rex Albadi. So for we to get the tune as yeah. a youth where you know so well then, this is one of your first song or thing like that. You mm. know, I remember we buy that record, you know what I mean? Oh, so you bought your own? No, I bought Ninja Man oh, Ninja song, Man. Right, which right. Juna Cat was on the flip side. Okay. So it was okay. a part one and a part two thing, right. but I never really buy record because I don't have a sound system. Right. You know what I mean? If you had a sound system, what would you call it? Well, you know, that's a good question, <laughs> you know? That's a good question. <laughs> I never think about that. <laughs> it's yeah. alright, I put you on the spot with that one. Yeah. <laughs> I would call mine unruly coolie. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you could be with mine on my one, yeah? yeah. <laughs> alright, okay, so <clears throat> what is your greatest memory? Um, you know, when playing out there, DJing on sound systems. Is it one particular one that you think of and think, oh, that was the boom, that was the one for you? Yeah. Because you've done so many, I know, but is there, is there one that you could think of that, that really kind of sticks in your head? Yeah, but it's not in Jamaica, you know, because I, I travel so many places through the world, you know, yeah. and, and do some great work where enough people never even get a chance to see it, because most of these things never video. Right. Like right. I remember I went to Brixton Academy in, in, in Brixton, England. Brixton, that's what It was the first time scare them yeah. really profound in England. Yeah. And it was scare them crow. Right. How Do, long ago was this? Um, long time? This is like about 11, 12 years ago. Okay. Now. Okay. You know, in, in, in Brixton Academy, it was scare them crow, Junior Reed, and um, a youth from America named Yankee B. I think he turned Christian now. Okay. And I, I opened that show. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. And, and the whole brick stand come down because people never believe I was there. Yeah. Them time there, you know? We went there with Supercat and Hurley B. Like, like yeah. 15 years before that. Mm. And then I came back now with this crew. And you know, just dominate the whole yeah. England, you know. So sometimes <laughs> media England and people don't even know because it's like my place, you know what I mean? Mm, mm. So it's just so it go. You know, yeah. reggae music is an international game and for you play a role. And people don't really like artists, you know, they like your music. Because sometimes when you mm. meet an artist and in behavior, it's better you never meet some of them and it's bad for it's me. It's true. Because I was here from the days of General Trees, mm. King Yellowman, Tiger, and, and um, Lee Van Cliff, Papa Tyan. All them people, there was um, people where, you know, mm. have manners from, from ghetto where go yeah. out there and, and people accept them. Now that you believe you is the man, you is not the man. Mm. You know what I mean? So you have to know how to play your role. That means the other youth them where come can still come live. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Don't mash it up and, and do you know what I mean? Them can come deal with it. Mm. Okay, you know? so you just spoke of like you've traveled many countries. Is there a country? that you like to go to you haven't been yet? Yeah. I heard reggae music is big in um, Dubai. Dubai, it you is. Know? And a yes. lot of people talk about it. But I don't even know if it's veteran music because mm. most of the people mm. them just start pick up the music. So yeah. they, they might have picked up the, the 2015 and 16. Yeah. But I would yeah. like them to take a, a listen to the, to, the, to the 80s and the 90s. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? And you would get the real feel of the music, mm. you know? And that's where we come in from. So you can't blame where for take for ourselves because sometimes to tell you the truth, I'm not feeling the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? We are people who like to go out and dance and all them mm. things. They are free of mind. So you could go to Raytown or you, you go to Olitz or something like that where people are say, all music, you know, say all people and things like that, you know what I mean? But sometimes you have to really dig deep for, mm. for what you want, mm. you know what I mean? And not much people in Jamaica know about Studio One music. I'm talking mm. about the younger generation. Yeah. So yeah. enough youth to pick it up now and find out. So you know, it's better if you're DJ and a foundation rhythm more than try to sing and a rhythm where people don't understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. So most of the rhythm that we really are dance to is the same foundation rhythm they play back. 
So, so that's why you're hearing and get the feel. But you're not hearing the acoustic guitar and you're not hearing the, the, the real drum and them thing there, you know? So you can't blame some of the people because that's what them used to. So I just we try for I just know we not rich or we are not we are, we are not parts, but we have to try for please the people. So if you go to a show and you have young people and you have old people, you still have to give the young people something. So we 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 are not gone and thing like that. We still here. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Light and Yeah, we with respect and them thing there. Mm. We know so the music kinda of got you a struggle. And reggae music is an international game on it, on its own. It's an independent thing. So it's not like you know, there's so much money is there for everybody to come and inherit. But all me I tell the young men, just 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 take your time and make good song. Cause we know set the gun and mash up the nation. Mm. And you can't come and dance, come discriminate woman. So we have to find yeah. a way. If you even want to sing a gospel song yeah. to make people can play it in them home with yes. them kids and them family and feel comfortable. You understand me? Because mm. music is not about just shooting people or mm. just having a sex life. Mm. You understand me? It's yeah. more to it and it's better for who don't start yet. Yes. So yes. all the man them know the bridging. Just travel upon the right road and everything will be alright. Because on a man rule earth, you know, so don't watch where a guy are doing. You know. The Almighty is close standing mm. by. That's and right. if you don't be careful, we are going to go have serious problem around here. Because we don't only talk, we are spiritual people. We don't live off of people. We live off of the Almighty and provide for us and make things happen. Boy, you sound like so a real preacher you there, boy. And praise the life here. Yeah? Because when it's true. over, you can't no, tell them no. no, no real no, no, yeah. You just know life was given here. You make use of it. You understand me? And you can't tell them about why the man didn't fight me. I never get to do nothing, you know. And enough people you want to come out and they never get to come here. So. True. Otherwise, for no. music. Some of the people I'm have to be careful mm. where they do because I know I'm not seeing a man, make no man yet, you know. So, yeah. how God work. Wow. Blessed my life. Some <laughs> wise words there. No, wise yeah. words there. Yeah. All right, so, been in the music industry for quite a while now. What's been like your biggest letdown? What have you experienced and thought? Yeah. Biggest letdown. I know everyone goes through that, but. It's tough on Well, my you know? biggest letdown in music, to tell you the truth, you know, I make a lot of song, you know, as I told you, I, I can just make song off of my head if yeah. the time is right and the rhythm is going in my direction. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we are not only into music, the amount of music we're inside are we. Yes. We just know so we was make for this. Mm. You know what I mean? My biggest letdown is some of the producer them. Right. They don't look out for the artists. Mm. And that's why you have a lot of veteran musicians walking on the street mad. It's not even like him hungry. Yes. You understand? Know, yeah. But by trying to um, work your head so much when you're young to make music. Mm. And then when you get older, you have to work your head again to try to make money. <laughs> yeah. When you should be resting. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anytime you hear something lose a head, mm. it's a big problem. Right. You know what I mean? Mm. And with mankind, you won't get back that. Yeah. So all me I tell some of the producer them, if the artist you get 50% and you don't feel like give him 50, some of the youth them don't know, still give him 10. Mm. Because it's not buy or buy him, it's your blessing you buy. Because yes. all of the people them hard sweat want to collect and don't give them anything. It's a feedback for enough of them right now and who don't into court facing lasso. Then we'll have bigger problems because people try to solve business on the street because they cannot take it no more. Mm. So that's all I'm telling some of the producers. Yeah. It's a big letdown and it's a shame to see how reggae music big and international and most of the hit makers mm. don't have a bike much less a car. Gentlemen, it's getting serious around here. Mm. Yeah? And if the youth them don't come deal with it and think for it by now, every man where you see a move round, he might have get ready for God, but he might have a son to come. Mm. So it never over till it finish. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. So there's so much talent and people have so much gifts, especially in Jamaica. It's like on every street corner, you know, mm -hmm. kids are chatting, they, they sing, yeah. they, they could do all kinds of things. Yeah. What kind of advice would you give someone that's looking to come into the industry or just start up? 
just tell the youth them to go to school and have them education because mm. you have so much talent in Jamaica but not much brain. Right. So people find out that you can go to Jamaica and get rich quick. Mm. You understand me? But it's not a good thing to do because they are not looking for much, you know. Mm. Some of them, you know. So you can still take care of them. Yeah. So with a youth trying to sing reggae music but he don't understand the paperwork. People learn it, they won't use it with you, they use it on you. Yeah. And it's 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 a terrible thing to do. Mm. You know what I mean? Because people have things and they come here and them take advantage of the youth them again. Mm -hmm. And them have more things now. Yeah. What what does they do with it? They don't need anything to anybody, some of them don't even have kids. Mm. You understand me? So regular music is the only thing where youth can go out there right now and say if music really in a him or if him friend them can fix him up and make the thing sound good, then them can have something to take care of them family. Mm -hmm. But otherwise from that, there is, 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 is no other job you can mm -hmm. get. Because we used to go to the racetrack and if you want to ride racers, you could have got there and from yeah. you look like a jockey, they would accept <laughs> you. Now you have to go to riding school. Right, right. So there is no sufferer of money to send no kids to riding school. Mm. So there is a lot of talent going to waste yeah. around there again. Yeah. Right? So reggae music is the only thing where you can pick up a mic mm -hmm. and have him sound good. He will get a thousand views tomorrow yeah. and he will be in the media or he will be on shows and he will be in the mix and there is one more sufferer out of suffering mm. and may God bless him, him help him family or help him mm. friend. And the thing will better. better. Yeah. So, so you don't need for you go out there and tell a guy who you is or are. Just do what you're comfortable mm. and angle your business. I make it. I've been in this business so long, mm. where I'm still here now because it's, it's not even my job no more. It's my life. Yeah. You know, if I don't think, sometimes it's like me get so, you know, and then if you even I feel pain once I get on the mic, it's it gone mm. because mm. something you're used to. So if you don't keep these musicians working or mm -hmm. singing, them going to take sick and them have them yes. family for feed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what they do it down in Jamaica now because they use the gun and all them things there for mash up the stage show, you know. When dance I keep everybody gonna have fun. Who mm. not drink beer or drink rum. See? But them no want that. Them lock out the dance and turn down the fun. So they them yes. not have nowhere to turn. So yeah. it's just a gun. Yeah. And that's how it reach now. So you have to know the line where you travel and know what kind of life you live because our life and if we are alone you know Bob Marley tell you you know because we have a whole lot of people we have to take care of like you go to the dub studio sing a dub plate if you make a grand you cannot live with a grand because mm -hmm. there is younger people here who depend on you see so you hold five and keep them alive yeah. nice. and, and the system will better you understand? Mm. So don't live for yourself alone, live for others. So if you drop down a man, somebody will pick you pick up. up. Sure. Right? So no, you are God Almighty. Mm. And God make with us and then make all them things happen. So just yes. give thanks and praise and we have a better day. We have a new song coming now and better day will come. See? And when, when you say better day will come, we, we mean like we want to say this year be a year where most of the younger youth them we I go the other way. Because them feel like say through them see that money I do this round us and it work for me. It might don't work for you. Mm. You see me yeah. I say? So set a solid foundation where people can come live. So if anything should happen to you, when your kids them show up, nobody don't disrespect them. Daddy was a devil. So them can take care of you. You do your work and do it good. Yeah. And leave a good road. Okay. Don't mash it up. Alright, yeah. so you was um saying that music is your life now. Yeah. But have you previously done any other jobs? Like, just. Yeah, I do a job music. like just volunteer, you know, because I'm up in the country doing construction with some friend. I'm not a construction worker, yes. but I don't sit down and watch. Mm. You know? Help out, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mm. And if I'm in my yard and all them things, I'm not waiting on somebody to sweep the yard yeah. or somebody to wash the plate. Mm. You know what I mean? So I just keep myself occupied yes. and always doing something. Right. If you look over there, you see this is a big ballroom. You know? mm. This is where I run in the morning. Okay. This, this is a big ballroom. So once you go through here and you go down the truck, you're on the ballroom. 
Oh. Right? So and you like running? Yeah, because that's what really keep you up, you know what I mean? If, yes. if you don't really try to build up yourself and help yourself, you will mm. kill yourself. Sure. You know, and a lot of people have good life, mm. but they don't take care of it. Don't Exercising is one of the most important yes. things, you know yes. what I mean? There's enough yes. man in my wake up and feel sick. Mm. And, and, and I say, and I go over here, so and when I go over there, I come back, I free. You see that thing there, so it named Single Bible. See? Yeah. Uh, it's single Bible, see it right there? That's a great medicine. See, they oh, run right through is it, your is blood. It, it's yeah. a bit as it named single Bible. Oh. Cleanse your blood and, and flush right. it. Right, so what do you do? Boil that? You don't boil it, you can just, just eat, eat it. it. Yeah, it's a bitter. Right, it's right. A bitter, so bitter go right through say anything blood. that's bitter is actually good for you, Yeah, right? people like sweet things. Mm. So if you counteract sweet, you have to have bitter. Yes. It's negative and positive. Mm. So you, you, you use the, the bitters. I com- might try some of that A later, lot of people. Know. No, don't take it in the <laughs> night, you know. Them say bitter sleep on your kidneys. So you have to take it in, in the, the day. day. So why is it move around? Right. It work back through you. You hear that, people? You take it, it in the day. Yeah. yeah. And when you exercise and all them things, it pump out bacteria out of you. So it's a good thing, you know. And them things spiritual, like don't mm. grow any anyway right and nobody didn't plant it there just grew up on it own so okay you know it's a All spiritual right. place and so it's a holy mountain when you're jogging around what are you thinking are you meditating yeah jogging is like something right like running in the morning yeah. it's clear stress and you know get certain things out of your mind and make you start fresh again mm. you know what i mean you never feel like you want to do nothing today but by finish running, you feel like you're going to do everything today. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the power where it gives you, yes, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. So, it's, oh. a, it's a great thing, you know? Mm. So yeah. what other kind of music do you like? Do you like I like I like every music, you know? I just don't like um, negative music when you're going ranchy, you know what I mean? Right. I can say when I used to sing bad man tune and all mm. them things, because we are not really killing people, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's just a fun, but when they start doing it a certain way where a guy will tell you, oh, we really, mm. you know what I mean? It sounds like, you know what I mean, you're really doing yeah. it, you know? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. for the situation of Jamaica right now, a man like me, mm. you know what I mean? I can't really step that way because me have my youth, them have grow up. That's right. And they never see me with a gun and they never show mm. them a gun. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. So what people have to know in their life, you know, is, is, is the peace where you said. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And certain things will, will never go away. I mean, I stop a man from eating food, you know. Yeah. But eat the food the right way and, and eat the right food. Yes. You don't yes. eat nothing where I got to choke you. Mm. And you can't bring it up back. Yeah. You yeah. have a problem. Like a fish bone. A chick of fish bone, you can't yeah. bring it up, you have to swallow it down. Yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, so if you could go back in time, is there something you could think of that you would probably do differently? Differently? Well, I never really make no mistake, you know. Mm. So I wouldn't do nothing differently, you know. I would have tried to do some other things. Okay, like what? Like produce some of the them. Right. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, be loving music and them things that we just sing and DJ all day life. They mm-hmm. know singing now go on like all tonight, Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Who they know? So we have got DJ Kilimanjaro, right. a West Molan, or we have got Negro. Mm-hmm. And it's been many weekends and there is no function or nothing for artists being home. Right. So why don't you bring the music here if it's not there? Yeah. So we could always sing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So yeah. still making song that yeah. you don't wait and such you never have any show, you don't make any song. Mm. So mm. you're rusty. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We keep it moving because we still nice. have to survive. So we don't want to say, well, then we're going to go to construction or we're going to go to some other thing and then we're there. This is our job. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, like, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so don't need to show me something when I say I make more money out mm. and still, I never have money me alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just want something to keep you comfortable. Cool. You so you we see a lot of people rich enough to have a CMA. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? True. So just make yourself happy mm. and eat and drink fun time. All right. So yeah. I know you played on the Kilimanjaro, um, but who's your top, I'll let you see, maybe two. Favorite sound system? Well, my two favorite sound system, you know, I tell you, I really love Kingsley Grass sound. You know. Okay. It's a sound that yeah, I listen to it and um, cassette mm. from back in that time. Yeah. And enough people wouldn't understand by playing a Kingsley Grass cassette, and it's really, I really find out what they were doing. 
because mm. they wasn't doing anything wrong. Mm. So that's why it's still a guan now. So mm. if you into the church, you could still play a stir a CD right, because yes. them did a keep it clean. Yeah, and that, that's <laughs> on the final. Yeah. So if I didn't the dance all with Joseph Wheel and all them man, you know, I find out that as much as these guys is a rough guy mm. and them guys are a bad man. Mm. See? Mm. And we know that how we grow, that's our trend. Yeah. They making CDs where we know it have a last year, next 20 here. Mm. So you, you cannot really just run in from the thing yeah. and mash it up. So they made a set an example around the same way, that's why it's still alive now. Right. You understand right. me? Okay. So that's what we know about music, so you have to um, set up peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can live. Right. You know what I mean? Because music don't hold you know, it's just legendary. You know? yes. So that matter of old music and all them things. Yes. Nothing to catch back 90s and 80s all now. True, that was the era. You that know what I mean? Yeah. And enough of the people you know, want to talk. Only, only thing that might change, the money get bigger. We mm -hmm. know reggae going to get bigger anyway it go. Mm -hmm. Because Bob Marley tell you when he lick the jump, so he's the heartbeat of the people. Yes. And the only reason why some people don't feel it because they don't have no heart, they use them head too much. And that's mm -hmm. why some of them get strokes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I really want to know, yeah. what's the other sound system that you really Well, like everybody know after I said King's Telegraph, my sound is not King's Telegraph, I just love King's Telegraph, my mm. sound is Kilimanjaro. Yeah. But I start from Soul in Piral. Okay. That's the sound that starts Supercat and Early B and all them Monday. Yeah. And then we leave go to every other sound. That's mm. how we was. We was like a DJ where and them and people just know say you see them mania mm. them mania at the dance hall general mm. per microphone right. so if if black scarf your dj is not there tonight a man have to come for we if metro mean a dj is not there tonight because if need somebody that can rock it mm. we don't need a man to come remember me sing more than 100 art song i got two three hundred song now and i'm in a member something now. but for you keep up for the night that's what we used to do because when we got dance, a one man pan a sound. Mm. And nowadays they have 10, 20 man a try DJ one sound. Yeah, the fight for the mic. You understand me, yeah. I say? Or two DJ. Yeah. I say it used to go. Who's given you the most challenging sort of clash whilst chatting, DJing on a mic? Who's been sort of like a dif difficult sort of component, should I say? I never really remember oh, really? have a component coming up. I know people who have that, but I never really have none of that. I was just a person on my own where just cut my own road and just just damage my way through yeah. coming up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I wasn't DJing through Supercat was a DJ or true. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I did a follow. I was feeling it so much yes. where I know say so I never have to go where them there for make a name. So most time they was into Skateland. Yeah. I would be into country, okay. a clash with all five DJ on the next sound mm -hmm. and, and still win the clash when yeah. me did think say so me I got lose. So me right. just know say it's not hard. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Where some man sure. have it hard cause you know the wrong job. Mm. Mm. You see me I say? Yeah. It was my perfect job where it, it was just up till now. Because if me have a show tonight and me leave go out there, I don't go out there like me have a laugh with them or me have a look friend. Them know I come me come for do my thing. People yeah. know. Supercat is not here many years now and I never mm. flap nowhere. Yeah, so I'm not true. traveling off on a body weight or you know what I mean? Mm. My whole my, my, my one. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? And and still doing songs right now, come and finish off last year with big tune, leave gun thing alone, and we have new tune that come right now. Tune were ready before the ear ready. So mm. with the amount of work we do, the whole of the tune them not released yet. So me, me never have to run up and down. Me just know say, leave it That's to the That's what we can expect in 2019, yeah, yes, from yeah, me. And, and new tunes, is that, you, know? you working on an album or you just, we just, I, I, we're not even thinking about an album, you know. The rhythm them when we hear them, we just think, say, yo, we for vice them, you know what yeah. I mean? Because yeah. when you get older, your vice change. Yes. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just it's just work. Something mm -hmm. like we sit down here so now and we'll cook some food and we've been built to cliff and thing. Yeah. What is the next thing to do? If not, you're gonna get lazy. Mm. You know what I mean? True. So we're gonna try while we're there, so find two line, mm -hmm. two eight bar or two sixteen bar. Yeah. And and the tune finish. And yeah. next man come up with a hook over this and you see me have the engineer there because it's my family, family and it's one family. Yeah. 
So, so that's all we do. Okay. You know okay. what I mean? We don't, we don't intend this year for run round and we don't intend to waste time and we're not really begging nobody because no, people <laughs> know how to road say yes. we have so much potential. Mm. And they have a whole heap of like a family now where I sing mm. when we can just sit down and tell them, say, we're not going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? As much as the youth them up to the yard, they, I them think that they might penetrate because I don't show them that they say this near microphone, this is make them rich. Mm. You know, make that jamming. So you like men? Man. Men are there, they, they, they just dominate, you know, because mm. that's what it's there for, you know, it's not really mine. Okay. You know? All right, I've just got a couple more questions now. Um, when you're performing, do you ever get nervous? Or have you ever had a block? So you're chatting and you just yeah, had a block. Yeah, when I was younger, I would get nervous. Like when, when I would have in a show where I know that um, this audience is so big. Yeah. And I'm not close to home. Yeah. Um, it's new. So any guy will tell you that they need a shape. Most of them young youth are them shape because I know them I know it. But to me train at the dance yeah. hall, it's just the place sometimes and the audience, yeah, you know what I mean? Where yeah. you might know, say, it look a bit huge. <laughs> but I just used to DJing, so yeah. I'll just, just go out there and just yeah, do it. Sometimes do you it. feel like it's not going to happen, but the way it works yeah. people telling you that you did good and you did great. Sometimes in myself, I don't feel like I do nothing. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's there, you know? Yes, yes. It, it's there, All so, right. you know? Okay, so you've told us what we can expect from you in the future and what's coming up with your new tracks and things we're gonna get some rain so i'm gonna wrap this up quick yeah i want to say first of all thank you very much for your time bless it, yeah bless really it. appreciate thank it you too, you know? and do you have keep rolling keep rolling do you have a message for don sinclair and myself i'm really feeling for the works that we're doing yeah you know all you have to do is just keep up the good work and helping the youth them same way and sometimes you can tell them to make them know say certain speech and certain thing we don't send out, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because the words can damage you as well as it can true, help you, you know what I true, mean? True. So that's what we know now, say, if we didn't make a mistake now, we're not trying to make the same mistake again. Yeah. You know, so with you and Dan Sinclair now, it's enough respect and enough thanks to come all the way up here to find Juna Cat. It made me feel it's real important, you so, are. you know what I mean? <laughs> you it, 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 Yeah, Trust so you know me. you're really Trust doing me. the work that these people could come from so far and come find you, that yeah. they had to do something. I would have liked to see it happen for enough other youth and when it come out, people will accept it and, you know, and yes. we give thanks for that. That's All a great right. part of the work. Okay, yeah. so behalf of myself and Don Sinclair, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, and no doubt you. we will, yeah. when you come London, trust me, you need to let yeah. us know. We will yeah. follow you, make sure we film and, you know, yeah. just welcome you there. Yeah, man. Guys, yeah, man. make sure you subscribe to this exclusive interview. Yeah, and um, yeah. It's such a blessing Bless the rain come. Yeah, right I love the rain. Video. So when the rain come, it's blessing. So when they said the rain come, this blessing, today was a blessing and this was a blessing. So right. great things will happen Take this care. year. So tell all the youth them that, you know, great things. Just do the work and do it good. You understand?